Hi everybody. Well, we're inside our new church and we're going to do a little update. It's a rainy day. Uh, we're a couple more months into the project and we thought it was about time to take you through things again and give you a sense of where we're at right now. Well, we're pretty excited. A lot of things are happening and hopefully through this video you can see the progress that we've made. Well, right behind me is basically the apps and the two excedras that are our altar area. And this very first glue beam, blue laminate beam, is where our new icon screen will, well, I shouldn't say our new one, but our existing icon screen will be installed in just a few uh, more months. We're still looking to be done by the end of January. As we go through the building, you're going to notice that the floor is kind of cut out and everywhere. You can see the new duct. That's all the new blue duct that's thrown in. All these gray pipes that you're seeing everywhere, that's all the electrical work. Uh, all the in-ground uh, mechanical stuff, hot water, cold water, uh, return, uh, electrical conduit, it's all been installed. And as you're looking right behind me, um, that's our south transept uh, where the choir is. Uh, all, the, all the sheeting is in, uh, you can see where the windows will be, uh, you can see that all the electrical work is in, and uh, they're going to be pouring the floor inside the church here next week. Right on the other side, is our north transept. And so you're going to sense how we've really opened up the space. We've raised that beam to the 12 foot level. We've kept the existing decking and roof decking from the old ceiling. Uh, and it really is looking quite, quite beautiful. Um, we mentioned to you the last time the clear story windows, you can see those are blocked and framed in. And I want to show you something over here. Uh, the last time that we went through this, our chapel wasn't in. But let's take a walk over there and you can see how that goes. So, obviously, most days of the week when you, when you come to church, we'll be using our main sanctuary, certainly on a Sunday. But on smaller feast days, or if we've got a small baptism, a small prayer service, we can use our chapel. We haven't yet dedicated the chapel. It won't be dedicated to St. Spiritum because that's the main church. Uh, it's going to be a woman's saint. Uh, so we're thinking about that. If you've got an idea, maybe you can email us know what you think in terms of what saint we should name this after. Walk into the chapel, be careful rolling. Big step there as you make your way in. Um, the space starts here, all the way in the back. It'll fit about 35, 40 people on a weekend. One of the things that we did is we created a separate mechanical system for the chapel. So that on a weekday, we're using this area. We don't even have to heat up the entire sanctuary. We can be efficient and just use this area. You can see one of those indoor heaters that we put in. Now, one of the features uh, of our remodel is creating symmetry throughout the sanctuary. So you can kind of see back here to the work over there. That's the south side of the nave. We're standing on the north side inside the chapel. That's the east end where the altar area is. And over this way to the west, we're going to go in there a little bit. That's the, the uh, nave. What we did is we created, the building didn't have symmetry. By creating this new north transept and the south transept, we created the cross. Creating some symmetry, and we're going to install. You can see the window here. here. So, this is where the interior leaded glass window will go. On this side, this is an exterior leaded glass window. So, all of our exterior windows and interior windows will match. The only difference is these got a double pane um, uh, window on the outside, uh, basically, a weatherproof window. Keeps the R value up high, insulated. The interior window is single pane, just a decorative pane. Uh, we've seen the mechanical drawings for those. Uh, those are on order, they're quite, they're quite beautiful. So we're gonna step back out into the main nave. Now you can see some of the structural steel that we're in. You can see some of the outlet boxes that have already gone in. Uh, so you can see again this big long mechanical trench. All this is gonna get filled with what they call flow fill. It's the type of lighter concrete that goes in. You can see on the back end, look at the size of this duct. Pretty massive. That is where one of our heating and cooling units will go. This is the vestry. You can see where the hot and cold water is, uh, where the sink will be. Now, if it's still inside this north transept or south transept, one of the features is although you're inside uh, the transept and we've got a 12 foot beam height, Nolan, you can turn left and right, you can show people. I think basically you can see all the way to the altar and you can see all the way back into the nave and even get a glimpse of the, the narthex. 
So we're gonna step back and the apart. And as you know from the previous videos, this area here uh, will have marble tile, red onyx accents. This will have porcelain tile, and carpet insets. And then you can start to make out uh, up at the top of the ceiling there, there's three areas where we're running the wire conduit and we're gonna be hanging our chandeliers. So there's a total of five chandeliers, three in the main nave, one in each of the south uh, transepts. And then as we make our way to the narthex, there's another space where we're gonna be putting in the chandelier. Now, hiding over here, on the back side here at the top, there's two exterior windows, two excedras. There's gonna be huge excess lighting back there, so you don't really tell that there's lighting at all. We want to see the surface is flat and open for iconography. Uh, we're thinking mid-December the iconographer will be out from Greece. Uh, his studio is in Athens. His office is in Barcelona. He's going to be out in the middle of December. And he's going to begin to put together the icon plan for the entire sanctuary and narcissist. And of course, we'll be communicating that with people so if they want to donate to a specific icon or if they want to commission icon, they can do that. Our first set of icons have already been commissioned. So the Kathy Teta icon, the more spacious than the heaven icon, has already been commissioned. That will get installed first and will work out most likely from the altar. But this area, altar area, nave, both in child, carpet insects, and we're going to our way back. This is required to work. We required for sound. One of the things that we did is we ran all the interior conduit for sound. Now we think acoustically we're not going to need it, but we didn't want to get past construction and not have the ability to install it later. We also are installing conduit. Nolan, you can move the can here. We're about in this section of the church. So this blue lantern beam back up and over. We're going to install a hidden conduit in here so that we're going to have cameras positioned so that we can stream. So we're going to catch video and audio of every liturgy and broadcast that live so that people can watch and enjoy the liturgy even if they can't make it here with us. They can worship with us online. Okay, South Transept. This also is wired for sound. We're going to put boom mics up in the top beam. You can't see them now. We're double sheeting this area so that we can create some acoustical resonance and bounce the sound out. We've wired it for our organ. We've wired it for the risers so that the risers will have power directly coming up. And we'll be tripping over the wires. And you can see this other inset right here. That's where our camper stand will be. Right next to it will be the bishop. And again, that is also wired for sound and for power. We're gonna make our way to this part of the church. As we get towards the back, last time that we showed you this, this big giant uh, steel brickwork was an inn. And if you recall from previous videos, what this is, is a glass wall that separates the narthex from the nave. The steel work will be covered with all of it. All of the interior trim work, doors, the moldings on the windows, all the framing, all of it will be alder stained to a mahogany to match our icon tree. So we'll have the same wood species throughout, which is something important to us, same stain color. These giant ribs, these giant ribs up here, are going to be stained to match the ceiling deck, so they'll kind of disappear a bit. Um, we're not going to highlight them. At the same time, they're quite beautiful. As we make our way out here, So we're starting to erect the um, bookstore, the conference room, you can see that in, in the ground, uh, outlet for a conference table, the parish council office, we've got a coat closet logged in, there's our vestibule, a mechanical room, electrical, bathrooms, all of this gray conduit is electrical, audiovisual, uh, data, and security. Um, you can see the steel supports that are in. This above here on the roof will be where our RTU units are. You can see the big giant, again, this big giant blue ductwork, and that's a chase that the fresh air will come in and push hot and cold air in. Again, remember this space right here, really tall ceilings that match up with this. One last thing we want to show you on this video before you go. Uh, back out here, you can see that we've got all of our curb and gutter in. We've installed our lighting for the parking lot. And rather exciting, you can see
see our sidewalks going in and around the corner. Can't show you to today because it's been raining. We had to tarp it off, but we poured our patio. We hope that you have enjoyed this update. A um, couple things to keep in mind. If you can get online, uh, go to our website, www.saintspiriton.church. Go to the invest page and you can check out uh, our online stewardship form and become a, a steward uh, of the parish, financial steward of the parish there. You can also go to our ministries page and become a steward of one of our ministries uh, and join those. Uh, you can browse worship, education, service, community opportunities. You can also look at our wish list item. We've added some new things like tiles that you can purchase that are in the altar or in uh, the nave. And, and, and lastly, uh, our mustard seed match. You know, we were shooting for 50,000 uh, in the match. We exceeded that uh, and we've gone way beyond. And so we're up to about $165,000 that have been raised through the mustard seed match. So there's still opportunities to do that and that helps us lower our mortgage. Hope you've enjoyed the update. We'll send one out here in a couple more weeks. Uh, thanks for taking a listen to it. God bless.